Despite high expectations, some 2023 films failed to meet fans' hopes, struggling with budgets and prolonged productions. Even reliable franchises suffered significant setbacks, and original projects, despite great premises, disappointed viewers. The burden of expectations can hinder movies, leading to neglected characters and narratives. Trying to please everyone is a trap for blockbusters, and the complexity of filmmaking can result in missed potential for 2023's most disappointing movies. While there were undoubtedly some cinematic gems that dazzled audiences, we cannot ignore the shadows cast by the 10 most disappointing movies of 2023. But before watching the top 10 most disappointing movies of 2023, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos like this. With that being said, the 10th most disappointing movie of 2023 in our list is Renfield. The potential for a captivating horror comedy featuring Nicolas Cage as a vampire and Nicolas Halt as his beleaguered familiar is evident in Renfield. However, the film falls short of exploring its intriguing concept. Renfield, realizing the toxicity of his codependent relationship with Dracula, opts to carve out his own path, mirroring the unfortunate choice to relegate Cage to a smaller role. While Cage brings undeniable enthusiasm to his B-movie monster character, the film's decision to limit his screen time proves detrimental. Regrettably, Renfield becomes a box office disappointment, marred by unimaginative gore and a failure to delve deeper into its initial premise. And the ninth most disappointing movie of 2023 is Napoleon. Despite the reunion of Ridley Scott and Joaquin Phoenix, Napoleon, more than two decades after Gladiator, falls short of expectations. While not outright awful, the film surprises with unexpected comedic moments instead of delivering the anticipated epic historical drama chronicling the rise and fall of Napoleon. Historical inaccuracies prove a divisive factor, alienating fans of the genre. The lackluster engagement in both battle scenes and the love story fails to captivate a broader audience, despite initial hopes for award season success. In the end, Napoleon had the potential, but its finished form leaves much to be desired. And the eighth most disappointing movie of 2023 is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Introducing time travel to the beloved franchise, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny struggles to recapture the magic of its original trilogy glory days. Harrison Ford's enduring charm remains a highlight, and the film boasts moments of genuine tension, notably the thrilling tuk-tuk chase weaving through Tangier's narrow alleys. However, the controversial ending proves divisive, pushing some viewers beyond their limits, exacerbated by convenient plot contrivances scattered throughout the movie. While The Dial of Destiny is generous with fan service, perhaps excessively so, it's crucial to recognize that the iconic hat and whip alone don't define the beloved essence of Indiana Jones. And the seventh most disappointing movie of 2023 is Wish. Promoted as a nostalgic homage to Disney's timeless fairy tales through a fusion of 3D and 2D animation, Wish disappointingly transforms into a clumsy marketing endeavor. Rather than crafting its own enchanting narrative, the film awkwardly relies on a roster of familiar characters, attempting to capitalize on their established popularity. Wish reflects the culmination of modern cinema's infatuation with nostalgia, and the true tragedy lies in its occasional glimpses of that elusive Disney magic when it dares to venture into uncharted territory. Amidst a forgettable soundtrack, the standout moment is the syncopated rhythm of knowing what I know now. And the sixth most disappointing movie of 2023 is Fast X. In recent years, the Fast and Furious franchise has experienced diminishing returns. Following the tragic loss of Paul Walker, each new installment has amped up the stakes and embraced escalating levels of absurdity. Fast X, much like its predecessors, delivers two or three jaw-dropping action moments, thanks to the familiar rubber-burning chaos. However, the overall plot falls short, with Jason Momoa attempting to inject life through his campy portrayal of Dante, the flamboyant yet menacing villain. Despite Momoa's efforts, the film struggles with clunky dialogue, 
leaving fans with the trademark chaos but lacking a compelling narrative. And the fifth most disappointing movie of 2023 is Magic Mike's Last Dance. While fans of Channing Tatum's shirtless charisma may find some delight in Magic Mike's Last Dance, it doesn't quite reach the levels of its predecessors. For those seeking more than just Tatum's physique, the film offers little beyond a clumsily integrated romance narrative. The spotlight shifts from mesmerizing dance sequences to Mike's relationship with a wealthy businesswoman portrayed by Salma Hayek. Whether attempting to broaden its appeal or deliver a sex-positive narrative of female empowerment, the movie appears to struggle. If it aims to respect its core fan base, it falls short. If it strives for a meaningful message, it stumbles with an unoriginal and poorly executed approach. And the fourth most disappointing movie of 2023 in our list is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Marvel faced an unusually disappointing year, marked by underwhelming performances from both the Marvels and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, aside from the anticipated success of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Despite the potential intrigue of Kang the Conqueror as a villain, Quantumania grapples with an excessive effort to establish his character for MCU's Phase 5, resulting in a noticeable absence of the humour that defined earlier Ant-Man movies. The film becomes a chaotic blend of exposition and extravagant, maximalist visuals. While the CGI reaches impressive heights at times, the moments of subpar quality are so glaringly ugly that they disrupt the narrative flow and invite unintended laughter. And the third most disappointing movie is The Flash. Despite early challenges and a star navigating a well-publicized downfall, The Flash faced a precarious start. Michael Keaton injects a delightful energy reprising his Batman role, and Sasha Carl's portrayal of Supergirl proves compelling. However, the film is hindered by a stumbling plot that restrains the potential of its multiverse adventure. While The Flash boasts commendable elements like impressive visual effects and ambitious action sequences, they occasionally falter. Overflowing with DC Easter eggs, the movie aspires to usher in a new era for the DC Universe, yet the final result is undeniably a mixed bag of highs and lows. And here come our second most disappointing movie of 2023, Paint. Although Paint initially appears to be a biopic about Bob Ross, it merely draws inspiration from the beloved TV painter. Owen Wilson's charming persona aligns seamlessly with Bob Ross's soothing demeanour, creating the potential for a quirky and optimistic comedy. Unfortunately, Paint falls short due to its inconsistent tone and lacklustre jokes, resulting in a disheartening jumble. The film showcases glimpses of greatness, but its uncertainty about whether to embrace a raucous madcap comedy or a contemplative exploration of ageing and the value of art leads to a convoluted storyline devoid of clarity. And the last, most disappointing movie of 2023 is Fool's Paradise. While Charlie Day is widely recognised for his role in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, he has successfully transitioned to the big screen with notable films like Horrible Bosses and Pacific Rim. In his directorial debut, Fool's Paradise, Day explores the story of a mute man thrust into Hollywood's spotlight due to his uncanny resemblance to an A-list actor. While Day delivers some humorous moments reminiscent of a Buster Keaton-esque character navigating the complexities of the 21st century, the film lacks the necessary subtext to string these scenes together cohesively. Fool's Paradise falls short in its effort to earn its comedic beats, resembling more a loosely assembled collection of sketches than a fully realised narrative. So these are the 10 most disappointing movies of the year 2023. Which one among them is the most disappointing movie for you? Tell us in the comments section. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe this channel.